Turtle, turtle, turtle. I've just got the mother of all turtles. The mother of all turtles. Although they're hardly ever seen, these waters are home to the biggest freshwater turtles in the world. This one would weigh in at about 200 pounds. That's heavier than I am. Don't stone here! They sure have the attitude. That neck is nearly half its body length. I get back in the water, in a place where Zhuka recently spotted something huge. And everything I'd hoped for and feared is suddenly there, right in front of me. Look at the size of this! I've stumbled into a potential man-eater. It's got to be a good 20 foot long, three times the length of me. And weighing at least 200 pounds. It's a monstrous piece. It's terrifying being this close to an anaconda that could seize me in a flash and then crush me to death. It takes six people to heave this huge animal onto its front, into a position where we can measure it. Okay, 180 centimetres to the base of the tail. Okay. One metre 91, nearly two metres across, 191. And literally, as we sort of pulled it in in the net, it's actually given birth to two live young. I thought I had one fish on the end here. It looks like I've got one, two, three, and another one inside. Four fish, one hook. I've caught the monster of the lost lake. I knew it. Monsters do exist in this place. Wonderful, deep-bodied arapaima. It's the crowning glory of the greatest and most extraordinary monster hunt of my career. It's just remarkable. That is something, isn't it? Oh, I've never seen anything like this in my life before. It's what they call a Queensland groper. Look at it. Is this big and three inches? What about the girth? Yeah. Two foot one. Its girth is four foot three inches. Four foot three inches. This fish, even Terry and Ben, haven't seen anything like this anywhere like this size, you know, so it's just an amazing catch, and particularly from a river. Just, uh, you know, this thing really is a river monster.